side of the field. Maez, a wing on the right side. Gonzalez by himself in the backfield. He's going to take the ball off tackle. He's going to squirt inside the 10-yard line to about the 7. So a little bit of a hole there as Gonzalez breaks through for good yardage there on first down. Simple running play off the right-hand side. I was talking with the radio announcers from Santa Rosa before the game, and this is the tale of two different running styles. Taos typically running up in the I formation and running forward. Santa Rosa going, sending players in every direction possible and trying to confuse the defense with who has the ball and trying to squirt through before they figure out who to tackle. Taos plays more of a smash mouth style straight ahead. That's what they're doing so far. Now starting to gain some ground is now it's second down and five inside the 10 for the Tigers. I formation for them this time. Going to pitch the ball to Gonzalez, trying to get outside. Isaac's got some room to the left. He's to the sideline. He's inside. He bangs into a man at the one-yard line. He goes in for a touchdown. A pitch to Gonzalez coming to the wide side of the field, the near side. He simply outran the Santa Rosa defense to the quarter, the corner of the end zone. He got hit by one of the secondary men right at the, line, uh, right at the goal line, but goes on into the end zone for a touchdown. So with 11 minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the first half, your Taos Tigers mounting a comeback against the Santa Rosa defense. Keep in mind, they've only given up 19 points all year in four games. And so that's saying something when someone scores against them. Actually, they've got a hurt player. That's the player that put the hit on Gonzalez right at the goal line, and uh, he might have hurt his shoulder. He's kind of got an arm hanging down there. He's coming off on his own power. Now there's a, a coach for Santa Rosa helping off. Taos now lining up in extra point kick formation. Here's the snap. The kick is up, and it is a very odd-looking high kick that goes off to the left. No good. That's not our normal kicker. Let's see who that is. I don't get the number of who that was, but it uh, looks like uh, Pacheco not doing the kicking tonight, so a little change in the kicking game. Uh, 11 minutes, 13 seconds left to play in the first. This time I'd like to mention the Toss High School cheerleaders. We have senior captain, Christina Mignogna, senior Brittany Silva, junior captain, Alicia Gente, junior Melissa Vihalava. Junior Inhava, Junior Erika Zarazua, Junior Ariel Wilber, Sophomore Elise Valerio, Sophomore Krista Chavez, Sophomore Alia Gentet, Sophomore Ariana Valdez, Sophomore Florence Field, Freshman Diana Madrid, Freshman Miranda Vicero, Freshman Leticia Vicero, Freshman Noel Totman, Freshman Dani Lovato, and Freshman Manager Osvaldo Bernal. Coaches are Lisa Victor Valerio, Lisa Chavez, Rachel Diagrio, and Maria Gentet. Style, it's uh, they didn't kick it on the ground, they kicked it in the air like chest high, but kicked it really hard where the up man tried to catch it and it just bounced right off of him. Seen that in college before. SMU has done that against Rice uh, in past years. There was a famous play there where they did that. Taos working it to perfection, and they have the ball first and 10 at their own 49-yard line. Isaac Gonzalez taking a handoff on the left side, and he's going to get hit for a loss in the backfield there, trying to go straight up field rather than trying to get to the outside like he's done before earlier in the game unsuccessfully. So this time trying to stay between the tackles doesn't work, and he's going to lose a little more than a yard there and bring up second down and 11. Ball spotted at the Taos 47-yard line. Ball's right in the middle of the field on top of the big orange Tiger logo. 10 minutes, 47 seconds, and ticking left here in the first half with Taos down 21-6. to Taos breaks the huddle, comes in the line of scrimmage. They'll send Devin Ortega wide to the left. Number 22, Ryle in the backfield with Isaac Gonzalez in the wing. Wants to throw the ball, rolling now, throws the ball, heaves it up, and it's in and out of the hands of Ortega here at about the 40-yard line on the near sideline. Catchable ball that time, but uh, Ortega had to kind of jump up for it. It was over his head, but he got both hands on it and just couldn't quite catch it. So uh, a little more uh, better-looking pass pattern and pass from the quarterback there, but still falls incomplete. It'll bring up third down and 11. You'd really like to see the Taos offense do something positive here after they get the turnover, the onside kick after they score and you can see there's a little bit of uh, momentum shift there as uh, some of the Santa Rosa players kind of with their hands on their hips thinking gosh you know we're actually gonna have to play against these guys they've had it pretty easy the first four games of the year 
Straight drop back from McCartney here. Throws the ball deep over the middle. It's going to be intercepted again. That's the second interception of the game as he throws the ball deep into the ter uh, Lion territory there. It's going to be intercepted at the 37-yard line, so Santa Rosa will take over there. That's the second interception of the game, although this time the defensive back that caught it falls down immediately. The first interception of the game, of course, being intercepted at the 50 and run back down the sideline for a touchdown, that being the second touchdown for the Lions to put the Tigers in a hole early. First down and 10 from the 37-yard line for Santa Rosa here after the interception. They come in all in tight. They have three players in tight. It's a misdirection. Now trying to go right up the middle. Breaks a big hole to midfield. He's going to go down the far sideline. He's at the numbers. He's through the 30. One player to catch him for Taos, and they will not catch him. He's going to go all the way into the end zone. Again, a simple handoff, but with all that misdirection and stuff, he's going to go all the way from the 37 in for a touchdown. It happens awfully fast. This offense is awfully good, and you can't tell who has the ball until it's too late. He broke into the secondary and then was off to the races. Not a lot of big players. It's not smash mouth football. It's confusing. It's misdirection. And they're quick enough that by the time you figure out who has the ball, a lot of times it's too late. Again, this offense has scored over 40 points in each of their first four games here, so they've done this before. This time, one play from the 37. There's a flag on the play. Taos is going to get called offsides on the extra point kick attempt, and so they will snap the ball again. Offsides against the Tigers. the distance. Once again, both of these teams undefeated. Santa Rosa 4-0. They beat Fort Sumner 47-12. Albuquerque Academy 41-0. Robertson 48-7. And last week against Hope Christian 40-0. So this is not unusual for them the way they run their offense. The kick this time is up and good. So they put another point on the board. Ten minutes and seven seconds left to play in the first half. Santa Rosa answers the Tau score with a score of their own. It's 28-6. Also, often we'll have Orange Coast dance team performing. And also the future cheerleaders. We'll be performing right after the first dance team. Back for the Tigers will be 18 nights at the lowest, 26 then in October. Don't forget, Cross JV will be going to that town this coming Monday, October 1st. Cross Country Team has a week off. Volleyball will be at Trinidad Tuesday. October 2nd, and also they'll be at Cuesta tomorrow, Saturday 29th. They'll be at Cuesta, that's Taos High School Volleyball. Boys Soccer. The end zone for the Lions. Taos showing a good drive, going for it on fourth down and getting it, getting also a fake punt successful and an onside kick that was successful. So Taos not giving up. Santa Rosa having to work for it on defense. Here's their kickoff to Maez, a little short of the 26. He's going to plow his way forward all the way to the 40, and someone hits him square and pays for it as Maez plows over him and goes forward to the 41. A flag comes in on the tackle. This may get a little more extra yardage tacked on for the Tigers as this likely is going against the defense. And, yes, it will be a face mask against Santa Rosa as Andrew Maez plowed over somebody. They had to hang on to anything they could to take him down as he, uh, both a defensive standout and a fullback, does not go down easy. So the officials are going to have to step off some more yardage. He made it all the way to the 47-yard line on his own. Well, no, they're going to say that that's after the face mask. They must have tacked on five after that. Taos now... I formation, one man split on each side, quarterback under center. Here's the snap. It's going to be a handoff to Gonzalez, trying to get up the middle. He stutter steps at the line of scrimmage. He's going to gain maybe a yard. There's four Santa Rosa players there that throw him back after that. Forward progress will give him about a yard on the play. It'll still be second down and long for the Tigers. They've popped a few plays. Actually, another face mask call is going to go against Santa Rosa here. I didn't see the flag on the field, but the officials conversing, signaling to the press box a face mask, so they're going to step this one off. It's another incidental face mask. That's back-to-back five-yard variety face mask, one on the kickoff, then one on that last play by Gonzalez. So it will remain first down, but now with the ball be in Santa Rosa territory at their 46-yard line and be first down and about four for the Tigers. Eye formation behind the quarterback, one man split on each side. It's going to be a pitch to Gonzalez here to the left side. He's going to get hit 
early around the line of scrimmage, but Gonzalez again putting his shoulder down and driving over the Santa Rosa player gets close to first down yardage. The officials are signaling for the clock to stop. They're going to look at it. The measurements going to be on the far side of the field. The sticks are on the far side of the field. The ball is going to be spotted at the 40. Three yard line, and yes, the referee is going to signal first down. He's got the attention of the chain gang. Now they're going to move it. It was close, but he was able to eyeball it from the near hash mark here. It is a first down for the Tigers. First down with the ball spotted at the Tiger 40, I'm sorry, the Lion 43 yard line. Tricky tonight with Lions and Tigers. All we need is some Bears on the field, and everybody can say, Ooh, oh my. Wing on the left side, one man in the backfield. McCarty wants to throw the ball, pulls up. He's going to get sacked back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of about five. He came to the near side, the short side of the field, and so when the pocket collapsed, there wasn't as much room to escape on. He's busted a couple plays where he's wanted to throw the ball and snuck out and gained a few yards. He's also been hit and fumbled the bar, the ball, but number 22, Lorenzo Rael, picked that ball up and got back to the line of scrimmage. But this time, a sack for Santa Rosa. The ball going back now to the between the 47 and the 48-yard line. Still in Santa Rosa territory. Ball spotted on the left-hand hash mark. Long huddle here for Taos. Eight minutes, 35 seconds, and ticking here in the first half. Taos comes out of the huddle into I formation. One man split on each side of the field, a tight end on the right side. Santa Rosa jumps a little bit, but not all the way off sides. Quick pitch to Gonzalez. He's going to work his way to the middle of the field and get back to the original line of scrimmage. Still on his feet to about the 41-yard line. There was a flag on the play early, which is usually where holding is. Now another flag comes in from the defensive backfield, so maybe two different penalties on this play. Santa Rosa jumping up and down saying they have the ball as they had uh, Gonzalez stood up and it stopped his forward progress. Someone may have tried to strip the ball out there. The officials are having a powwow on this one because there was two separate infractions on the play. Santa Rosa is still saying that they get the ball, although their defense isn't coming off the field. They're signaling uh, against Taos. Officials still conversing. We have a holding against Taos. That was the one in the backfield. That is going to be declined. The personal foul face mask also against Taos. And they're going to say the ball goes over to Santa Rosa. There must have been a fumble or they stripped the ball at the end of that play. A beanbag didn't go on the field. There was no signal from the officials. The The defense on Santa Rosa was jumping up and down saying they had the ball, although I never saw the ball come out, and I know the coaching staff here in the press box didn't see the ball come out. Somehow the ball got ripped out of there. Coach Lopez talking to the side judge here trying to say, hey, how did that happen? How did they get the ball on two penalties there? Uh, and now the officials, they're going to spot the ball at the 42-yard line in Santa Rosa territory on the right-hand hash mark. Coach Lopez now going out trying to get an explanation of how that ball came out. Oh my goodness, and now they're assessing the 15-yard face mask against House after the fumble. I don't understand how that works because there was a face mask penalty first and then a possession change, So, but they get the, the benefit of that face mask call, and it goes all the way into Taos territory at the 42-yard line. Everybody in tight for Santa Rosa as usual. They now have the ball after the turnover, first and 10. They flinch, but there's no call there because they hadn't wound the clock yet. Here's a direct snap right up the middle to the fullback. Taos will stop him at about the 30-39 yard line. So a gain of about three on the play. A direct snap there to number 45. That's Tim Valverde, the senior fullback there for the Lions. Ball spotted at the 39-yard line, still on the right-hand hash mark. Taos enjoying a stop there as they have not done a very good job so far on defense, although they haven't seen that many offensive plays. They've only seen five offensive plays by Santa Rosa so far. That was mean the sixth play. Here's another direct snap to 45, same play right at the middle. He gets out of a tackle and breaks to the left side there. It was a missed tackle, and then he goes back towards the middle of the field and gets all the way down to the 25-yard line, a first down and about eight more yards after that. He was hit by the defensive line in Taos, but somehow spun out of it and then got into the, the secondary, got hit again, but he bounced off towards the middle of the field and kept going going. So a couple missed tackles there. Taos figured out who had the ball, but they just couldn't pull him down. First and 10 for the Lions at the Tiger 31-yard line. They break their huddle. Number 45, who's actually like a fullback, he's kind of considered their, their quarterback or lines up in that position anyway. Everybody down in tight. Same play again, 45 up the middle. He's going to break into the secondary again. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Gets around two Taos players. Gets off another Taos player into the end zone. That wasn't so much misdirection as poor tackling by the Tigers as all kinds of guys hit him and could not get him down. That is a 31-yard touchdown run right up the middle for the Santa Rosa Lions. 
Poor tackling there by Taos. That's not happened in the previous four games. Taos has done a much improved job of tackling this year over past years. That time, though, it's number 45, and he's built like a fullback. He's big and wide, and somehow he just spins out of those tackles once he gets into the linebackers in the secondary. Here the lines are set up for an extra point kick attempt. They run a fake. The, the holder's going to pick it up and run into the corner of the end zone. He was down on his knee, took the snap, jumped up, and then ran into the corner. So a surprise two-point conversion is good for Santa Rosa to drive the score up to 36-6 to over your Taos Tigers. Pick it up for the Taos Tigers. Let's hear it. Back for the Tigers, we have 18 Isaac Gonzalez, 26 Kevin Ortega, kicking for Santa Rosa. Now will be, I believe, ball goes out of bounds. There is a flag on the play. Ball will be marked at the 35, will be first and 10 for the Tigers. Some of the door prizes for tonight's raffle for the Jessica and Lily Foundation. Choice Wireless donated a Motorola milestone droid with one free month of service. Applebee's, Viva Sports, Taos Turkey, Antonio's Restaurant. At quarterback now, number seven, Alejandro Tavares. Isaac Gonzalez, all the way up to about the 45, so shy of the 45. Just shy, getting about nine of the play, it'll be second and one. Tavares pass and then Rising Gonzalez for inches now after that incompletion. Santa Rosa doing a good job of pushing the pocket back, but we've seen both uh, uh, Kevin McCarty and now the quarterback Tavares stepping up into the pocket. He might try to have uh, run for the first down. Again, we've only got inches to go there, but he chose to throw the ball as Gonzalez was coming back in the flat and was open, but the ball just bounced short there. He wasn't able to catch it. Eye formation, Maez the fullback, Gonzalez the tailback, Tavares in at quarterback. Here's the snap. It's a handoff to uh, Andrew Maez who plows his way forward for the first down to about the 49-yard line. So good play fake there by Tavares as he handed the ball off to the fullback, the first man threw into the line of scrimmage, and then faked like he was pitching it to Gonzalez, who is the feature back for the Tigers, if you will. Santa Rosa totally bought into it. Maez gets the first down and plows forward into the big orange Tiger logo in the middle of the field on the 49-yard line, still in Taos territory, but a fresh set of downs for the Tigers with six minutes and 12 seconds left to play in the first half and ticking. Same formation, I formation for the Tigers, one man split on each side. Here's the snap. They give to Maez again. He breaks this one. He's going to go all the way past first down yardage into Santa Rosa territory, all the way to the 39-yard line. Santa Rosa again claiming they have the ball, but I don't see any signal from the officials. No, they're signaling first down for, for Taos, so back-to-back -back handoffs to the fullback, Andrew Maez. That'll be his longest run of the year, getting all the way down to the 39-yard line in Santa Rosa territory. Five minutes, 55 seconds, and ticking. These running plays, the clock doesn't stop at the end, even on a first down, but Taos got a little something-something going here. Back-to-back -back first downs. Eye formation for him again. One man split on each side. They're going to give it to Gonzalez this time, and he gets into the linebacker core, a gain of five or six yards as he plows forward a little bit. 
It's not as flashy as Santa Rosa's misdirection offense, but Taos' offense now pushing forward a little bit. It's going to gain four on that play. The ball spotted squarely on the 35-yard line in Santa Rosa territory. The ball spotted in the middle of the field, second down and about six for the Tigers as they have to get inside the 30-yard line of the Lions for a first down. Taos breaks their huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation this time. They still split one man on each side of the field. Tavares in the quarterback. Maya's the fullback. It's going to be a pitch to Gonzalez coming to the near sideline. Santa Rosa has seen this before. They snipped it out, but Gonzalez kind of weaves his way in and out, giving Santa Rosa a dose of their own mes medicine by dodging a couple of tacklers. They had him way back at the 40-yard line. It would have been a loss uh, of quite a few on the play, but Gonzalez weaves his way in and out and avoids some tackles and gets to the Santa Rosa 33-yard line for a modest gain, maybe one or two. It'll be third down and about four for the Tigers. Four and a half minutes left to play in the first half. It's been pretty much all Santa Rosa so far, but Taos showing signs of driving the ball against the Santa Rosa defense now deep in their own territory. Here's going to be a handoff to Gonzalez right at the middle. He gets hit right at the line of scrimmage on third and four. He pushes his way forward, but he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. It'll bring up fourth down for the Tigers. They're actually going to back him up just a little bit. They're going to they're gonna spot the ball at the 34-yard line in Santa Rosa territory. They've got to get inside the 30, but not quite to the 29 for a first, so it's going to be about four and a half yards here on fourth down. Taos pulled off a fake punt earlier tonight, but I don't think Santa Rosa expects a fake punt. Taos down by 30 points here in the first half. Taos is just going to go for it, but they're going to take a timeout on offense to talk about it. So timeout, Taos, three minutes, 55 seconds left to play in the first half with a fourth down. After the Orange Coast Dance team will have the future cheerleaders perform. I don't know, we don't have any of the music. If they're going to have music, we'd like to have it up here. Thank you. Also, after future cheerleaders, then we'll have our drawings for 50-50, kick a field goal, and also our drawing for adult basketball league and benefit for the two cheerleaders from La Crella. Jessica and Lily, the Jessica and Lily raffle. So four minutes ago, there's some great prizes for that raffle and it goes to a good cause. Get your tickets now. The fourth and five. Fourth and five. Ball here a little bit against the Santa Rosa defense. Let's see what they come up with. Fourth down and four. They send two men split wide to the right, a different formation for them. Tavares in at quarterback. Man on the way. They want to throw the ball. Back up. Lots of room now. They throw a swing pass. He's got a man open at the 30. He oh. drops the ball after he catches it, and Santa Rosa will recover. Uh, that's number 22, Lorenzo Rael, coming out of the backfield, had the reception. They had it in the flat. He was close to first down yardage, and as he was being tackled, the ball comes out, and Santa Rosa recovers. So Taos coming close there to pulling off the fourth down conversion, but another turnover, the third turnover of the half against the Tigers. In a battle of undefeated teams, you can't make mistakes in Taos tonight. Mistakes on special teams, and now three turnovers, giving the ball back to a very high-power high-scoring Santa Rosa offense with three minutes and 47 seconds to play. Here's a pitch to the right side. Big room into the secondary again. Evades tackles again. Once they get in the secondary, they just they just don't get tackled. He's past midfield, still on his feet, all the way on the sideline to the Taos 38-yard line. So a gain of about 30, again on a simple handoff right up the middle. It's hard to explain. Their, their, their backfield is very fast, very quick. They do a lot of misdirection, send people in every direction, and then you can't figure out who has the ball. And then their players, well-coached, well-trained, that when they get into the open field, when they get to the linebackers or the secondary, they spin around and evade tackles. And Taos's, uh cornerbacks, defensive backs, they, they're not able to hit and wrap up. Here's the snap. It's another handoff to number 34 off to the left side. He's going to break into the secondary again to the 20-yard line. He gets chased by the defensive backs by Taos, but it's another gain of over 20 on a simple handoff. Off. They've got four guys in the backfield, including the quarterback, and they all just go in different directions and spin around, and somehow they know who to either hand the ball off to or pitch the ball. Taos' defense, no answer for what Santa Rosa is doing on offense, and they're going to take a timeout to talk about it because with three minutes and 15 seconds, they're, they're inside the 15 again. So let's take a quick timeout again. You're listening to 1340 KVOT. 
or next week, actually. And with that being said, we'd like to take this opportunity for an ex-Taos Tiger superstar, Diego Baroni's birthdays tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wish him a happy birthday. Also, since we're on birthdays, they told me it's Michaela Valerio's birthday. Happy birthday, Michaela Valerio. That last time out was taken by the Taos Tigers. First and 10 for Santa Rosa at the Tiger 15 yard line. Once again, don't forget, homecoming week is next week. On Thursday, there's, a special, there's going to be special events all week, starting next week at the high school. On Thursday, is the Potter Club football game. Don't forget the parade on Friday, October 5th. First and 10, Santa Rosa. Number 45, takes it in from the score from 15 yards out. That's Valverde. Team Valverde in for the score. Kick is up and good. 28 and 18 Sanchez, I believe, was a successful point out there. We'll be right back with a kickoff on 1340 KVOT, the voice of Taos. and furious on offense for Santa Rosa. Taos's offense showing signs of life, driving the ball down the field, but three turnovers so far have hindered the Tigers from getting into the end zone much. Your Tigers are down 43-6 to here to Santa Rosa. They're kicking the ball off now, another low line drive kick. It's going to be taken by Maez again at the 24-yard line. He's going to burst forward. He gets to the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Santa Rosa Lion catches him from behind and drags him down. That's number 23 for them, Joaquin Lopez. And I think they learned their lesson after the last time Andrew Myers had the ball in the kickoff. They tackled him from behind rather than getting in front of him as Andrew just plowed right over him. Taos will take over first and 10 again there at their own 44-yard line. Ball spotted on the left-hand hash mark. They're over with Coach Lopez getting their instructions, breaking that huddle and coming to the line of scrimmage. They have three minutes and three seconds to get a little something going here and get on the board again before halftime. They come to the line of scrimmage in I formation. That's Tavares in at quarterback. Myers at fullback. Gonzalez at the tailback. Here's the handoff. To Maez right up the middle. He's got good yardage into midfield. He'll have first down yardage all the way to the 45 yard line. I think Andrew's liking getting the ball in his hands the game. He's gotten a couple of, uh, I'm sorry, that was number 63, it looks like, getting up there. No, I'm sorry, Andrew Maez, the fullback, getting that carry, number 63 downfield. That's Michael Drahillo, good blocking all the way down into Lion territory to the 45 yard line. Same play again, this time they're gonna stop it though, right at the line of scrimmage. The Santa Rosa defense recognizes things quickly. Taos has run the same play a couple times uh, on several different series here and it works the first couple times, but then they start recognizing it. So good recognition by them that time, trying to get the ball to the fullback two plays in a row. It gained 11 the first time, this time it goes nowhere. Even lose maybe six inches, it'll bring up second down and 10 plus for the Tigers with the ball just beyond the Lions 45 yard line. Two minutes, 25 seconds and ticking here in the first half. Taos comes back in the formation they started the game in. One in the backfield, a wing on the left side, receivers on both sides of the field. An inside handoff to Gonzalez this time, a little misdirection there coming off the wing, coming back to the inside uh, of the interior line there, but a short gain, maybe a gain of one, one and a half. It'll bring up third down and long with two minutes and four seconds and ticking. Taos huddling back at their own 45-yard line. The ball spotted at the 44-yard line of the Lions of Santa Rosa. Taos comes to the line of scrimmage. 
One man split on each side. That's number 10, Michael Gallegos to the right, and number 26, Devin Ortega on the left. Gonzalez in the wing. Tavares wants to throw, backs up, backs up now, throws the ball. It's a wobbly pass that goes incomplete. It was over the head. Um, it was actually short of Isaac Gonzalez, but uh, the defensive back for Santa Rosa jumped up for it. It was a very oddly, it was a spiral, but it was kind of a tail down spiral, kind of a vertical ball instead of a horizontal ball. So that kind of either slipped out of his hand or something there. Kind of up for grabs, but falls incomplete. Not an interception. Of course, there's been two interceptions already tonight. They had Isaac Gonzalez down at about the 10-yard line, and he couldn't quite catch up to that ball. So another incompletion. The clock stops with a minute 37 seconds left to play. It'll be fourth down and nine for the Tigers. In Santa Rosa territory, they send two defensive backs uh, deep. Taos shows up in punt formation, although Tavares, the quarterback, is the short man. Here's the long snap, and it is a kick by Taos, and it's a wobbly spiral, kind of coffin corner style here on the near sideline. The kick goes out of bounds. Now the officials are going to try to try to mark where they think the ball went out of bounds on the fly, and it will stop at about the 10-yard line. So trying to pin Santa Rosa back deep in their own territory, Taos electing to punt the ball inside Santa Rosa territory with a minute and 31 seconds left to play, rather than going for it on fourth and nine and giving uh, potentially Santa Rosa field position more towards midfield. Ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark. Santa Rosa going left to right across your radio dial. The nose of the ball touching the 10-yard line. The rest of it just inside. One minute, 31 seconds. It only took them 20 seconds to go from the 30 last time. Let's see if the Taos defense can start making adjustments. Same formation. It's going to be a spin around. Number 45 right at the middle. He breaks free again all the way past the 20-yard line to about the 24-yard line. That's their quarterback, even though he's, he's listed as a fullback. Looks like a fullback, kind of low to the ground and wide. Let's see here. Number 45 is Tim Valverde. They list him at 5'7", 165 pounds, middle linebacker, fullback, and a senior. He takes the ball, spins around, does a 360, and then just goes right up the middle. Been very successful so far. First down again for Santa Rosa. Here comes number 24 on the right side, kind of in a sweep. He's got blockers in front. He gets to the 40, goes right by a Taos player that tried to tackle him. Now they take him down at about the 47-yard line. Poor tackling again in the secondary there by Taos as a Taos player stood flat-footed and let the running back come to him, bounce off of him, spin away. So Taos' uh, defensive secondary, a little shell shock tonight as they have the running backs of a variety of forms coming from Santa Rosa, getting quickly into the secondary in a lot of sort of one-on-one -on -one situations, and they're just getting uh, uh, duped out there. They're getting outperformed one-on-one -on -one in the secondary as the Taos secondary not able to hit and wrap up when they have the opportunity. It'll be first down and 10 for Santa Rosa, still in their own territory at the 47-yard line with the ball on the right-hand hash mark, 42 seconds and ticking. Here's another direct snack to number 45 again. Fullback right up the middle into the secondary to the 40, now breaking to the outside. He's got two men to beat and gets knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. That's number four. Jonathan Cordova was able to catch him there at the very end, but uh, Taos' secondary having to chase down these running backs as they get quickly into the linebackers in the secondary. Again, getting downfield 10 or 15 yards yards before Taos recognizes who has the ball. Ball spotted at the 20, 27 yard line on the right hand hash mark. Everybody in tight. That's four players for Santa Rosa. Direct snap to 45 again. He's into the secondary again. Just simply hops out of the way of one tackler and gets inside the 10 yard line to about the 8 yard line. That time he was running right up the middle. A Taos player was right in front of him, but again, instead of running forward and trying to tackle him, the Taos player kind of froze. And even though number 45, again, he's 5'7", 165, he's kind of a, a, a wide, low body, he literally hopped to the side and just got out of his way and kept going. So Taos' defense having trouble tackling tonight, and that's not good with the offense that is as quick as this one from Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa huddling here. It looks like they may be content. Uh, it's under 10 seconds here left in the first half. They're either going to let this be the last play and call timeout, or they're going to go into the halftime. They're looking at the clock. I'm not sure what they're doing here. They're going to let the clock run out here, even though they're inside the 10-yard line. So they let the half expire ahead 43-6 to over your Taos Tigers. Rough first half on the Taos defense. The Taos offense showing some signs of life, but giving up three turnovers against a very stingy Santa Rosa defense. We're going to take uh, a timeout here for halftime. We're going to listen to